Let's leave the past behind. Walk with me. There's something else we need to find. Say you'll go. Don't make me wait. There's no need. So we've got a really fantastic situation of self-expression that we've never really had before and it's only really happened of recent years. And yet the internet platform, whether it's YouTube or any of the other social media sites, they don't always give a true picture of everything, do they? Mm, no, no they don't. So let's keep it real. And um, I was sitting here thinking, you know, one of the things on my list today is to vlog a little bit for my YouTube video for this week. I like to do a little bit here and there. And so I'm not just, you know, like vlogging the whole day long because it, it can be quite tiring. And also setting up all the video things. I mean, I'm really lo-fi, don't get me wrong. I haven't got a kit and lighting and makeup artists and all that kind of, well, you can probably tell with the bit of bed hair, but really lo-fi for me. But at the same time, it still takes extra time to think about what you're gonna say a little bit and, you know, prepare a little bit for it. And so sometimes you just wanna get on with your day. So I think that's really good, like we've talked about, the, the kind of rest and balance, more of a work rest balance. Today, I'm sitting here on my sofa, as you can see, and I am being productive. Hang on a sec. You know, I've got my little, um, my little work situation going on and um, I have been very busy this morning, but at the same time, I'm feeling resistant for, to doing things. Let's take you to the window, shall we? Because it's a bit of a nicer light situation. So the sky is inspiring to go outside and I need to go and do some stationery shopping basically. I need to buy a few bits and bobs. And I'm also on the lookout for some objects to keep in my studio to paint from observation, from like to make still lives basically. I think I've talked about this before. I want a little collection of things. So I'm going to go to a couple of charity thrift shops as you call them in the US. I can't remember what you call them in Australia. I did ask that before and somebody put in the comments, but yeah, if you're somewhere else that doesn't call them charity shops or thrift shops, yeah, let me know in the comments what you call them. But anyway, I can either sit there on the sofa and percolate in my head, but not get anything actually done. And so it made me think about, you know, how the day and how we often have this situation with the day, don't we? Where we're actually at a crossroads or a fork in the road and we're faced with a day that could go either way. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So which way do you want it to go? That's the key question, isn't it? And sometimes that might be, I want to get my PJs on, I want to get into my bed, and I want to cocoon and hibernate and basically hide away for the rest of the day. And I do that and I close my curtains, even if it's broad daylight and shut the day out. If it all feels a little bit too much and I just need to go within, and be on my own, that's fantastic. And I find it really restoring and it regenerates me, it recharges my energy batteries. But I'm thinking today, it's more a case that I feel a bit sluggish, a bit lethargic. And so I'm kicking myself up the butt, if you like, that's what I'm gonna do. And I thought I could take you with me for company, because I love it when you keep me company, as you know. So am I going to deal with some bed hair situation or yeah, not really sure I can be bothered. Mm. So maybe headband and earrings and that'll do. 
Okay, let's go. <laughs> gonna get this chair out we got from Facebook marketplace for a bargain it's heavy do you put it in the lift yeah I got a little bit of rejigging to do to get it in sort of ish thanks baby I'll, I'll give it a little wipe down Yeah, that's 
that's blocked. Oh, right, I'm locked. Got it. Yeah. And that just down there. Just to carry them on there. I think where I left you yesterday I think I left you in the charity shops yesterday and uh, so I haven't shown you what I bought so I'll show you what I bought maybe you can guess a couple of things probably um, but yeah I'm still having a little a kind of break actually a kind of needing a rest and some, some of that has been you know being at home cocooning in bed in the bed office and also just on the sofa so not necessarily completely in bed but yeah, I have been cocooning and I'm definitely having a creative break this week and it's, it's doing me a lot of good and it's kind of, I feel like it's actually helping me be more productive. Um, I'm kind of looking after next week, if, if that makes sense, because I think next week it's really going to help me, you know, if I'm ready to go back on to my normal schedule. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking I am. I'm thinking I'm, yeah, I'm feeling a lot better today just from having one day yesterday. But today I thought kind of doing another day and one of the things I'm doing for ultimate self-care is I've declared it and I said this to my patrons last night in my post because I've been chatting to them about it and I've declared it anti-procrastination week ultimate self-care and so all the little things that I have been putting off or have just got put to the bottom of the list that are really quite important but they're not joyful errands if you like they're more mm, a bit of a drag so, and I did get a bit behind as well while I was poorly. So, yeah, needing to catch up on a few things like that, which are not very exciting, so I haven't vlogged any of it. And so in the midst of pacing myself to do those little annoying errands that really need, needed doing, I have been doing some joyful things as well. So I've kind of sandwiched them together. So it's felt like a benefit for my self-love intentions, if you like. And it was the new moon couple of days ago in Gemini and I love following the moon and following astrology I think you may know you may have heard me mention that before if you've watched a couple of my videos but yeah so it's been a nice time to plant seeds and intentions and I thought we'll have anti-procrastination week and that was even before I was expecting to take this this break if you like so I hadn't planned it it's completely unplanned but I'm listening to my body I'm listening to what it's saying and it's saying I need a bit of a rest so Let's see if I can get my, um, my flowers in water. I'll uh, show you what I got from the charity shop, AKA thrift shops. So you've seen my chair, which I got second hand from Facebook Marketplace. And I did have a wheelie chair in here, which is um, over there, but it, it's not mine, that chair. It actually belongs to the building. And this chair is better in a sense because the arms are half length and so I can get nearer to the table and it also goes a bit taller as well so it is actually missing one of its buttons but I don't really mind that and the other thing I really like about this chair is that the back moves so I can sit and I have to sit on it really because it's actually really quite stiff but the back you know tips a little bit and I can adjust the front a bit more so it's, it's more adjustable than the other one as well but um yeah, it's really, really nice. And I love brown, so a little gift for the studio. And I got it from Facebook Marketplace, basically. James found it. 
And so I got it for a really bargain price because it is actually a really expensive, like, it's £285 from Ikea or something stupid like that. But I got it for a load less than that. So that was a little trip out last night. And let's see what I got then from the charity shop. So I think this is the thing you might actually have guessed. And, um, yeah, I couldn't resist that. How cute is that? I think it's very fairy tale and also very Alice in Wonderland, isn't it? Little bunny on the top of the cup. Um, it was actually really expensive, but I think it's because it's quite a nice pot, pot from a pottery. I love the shape of the teacup itself, but yeah, just having the little lid on as well. And I thought it would go nice with my other pot. So if you watched my last video that I did take you to the charity shops with me, I bought this little green pot. I've got some rose petals in that one. And so I thought it would sit nicely. And with that one, very, very cute to so, also got two books, so I did, you might have guessed this one as well, the Degar book. Such a lovely book, and again, quite expensive, so what I actually did is I didn't buy these yesterday. I actually went back today for them, and, and I also got my um, stripy shirt that I'm wearing as well, because I saw this yesterday as well, and I just, I was too tired to make decisions, so I decided um, to leave it, and then if I still wanted things... You know, when I woke up this morning, I could um, go back for them. But I adore Degas and the expressive expressionism things he did. And um, there's some nudes at the back as well. And look, really nice, beautiful self-portrait. So, yeah, really loved that book. And I just thought it would go really well with the books I'm trying to recollect, really. So, and I love secondhand to bewitch the truth and give it the appearance of madness, says Edgar Degas. So there you go, quote on the back. Pegasus Library, so I obviously got that second hand and I also picked up, again for my book collection for the studio. So if you haven't been here before and you don't know, I actually sold all my book collection, I got rid of it, I, well I didn't sell it all, I mainly took it to charity shop and gave it away, but um, I it's a doggy out there. I'm a bit jealous. I want a studio doggy, but I uh, can't have one at the moment because the flats we're in, the landlord doesn't allow pets. Yeah, trying to grow my book collection again, but I don't want to grow it quickly. I don't want to just buy a load of books. I just want to see what the universe brings me, basically. Zoom you in a little bit. So I said yesterday I wanted to find some artifacts for paint. So I found this kind of pot. This wasn't expensive, actually, four quid, so that wasn't too bad. And that book wasn't expensive, that, the bunny thing was. That, I think that was a fiver, so that's quite expensive for UK charity shop for a little thing like that. But they've all put their prices up, so that's come off well. So I hate stickers that leave glue on. It's like, why do they do that? Anyway, coloured glass, nice reflections in the gold as well, so I thought that would be really interesting on my still life table. And also what I'm most excited about, and this cost me a bit of money actually, this was £10, which I don't think I've ever spent that much at a charity shop, but this is what I was looking for last time I went into the charity shops, a pot with, yeah, £10 this was with um, loads of flowers on it and how wonderful that it's got a dark background as well so kind of my theme and so I think that'll be a lovely addition that's kind of why I've bought the tulips as well because I wanted to put some flowers in and maybe set something up I don't know if I'm actually going to do any painting today I might come in tomorrow and do it because I want to have a bit of a tidy up and other things towards my self-care and self-love and time off. So part of the process of painting is preparing to paint, as we've talked about many times. So it's all good. But yeah, I love that. So yeah, I think that's everything. Um, yeah, with this T-shirt as well. So I've got stripy top. So because I've got a little bit of a thing for stripy tops, I used to have a red one, a red and white one. And I don't know what happened to it. Van life happened and loads of stuff disappeared. And anyway, I went back and shopped basically today 
Oh, I bought one more thing as well. I bought some tracing paper. This wasn't from the charity shop, but it's from the really cheapy craft shop, which is in the UK called The Works. So, and then I'll show you this as well, because this is the other thing I'm doing for my anti-procrastination. Yeah, I've got a pile of um, paperwork there. And um, it's all stuff with lists and stuff I need to address, really. So I'm going to tackle that. That's my job for today. I'm going to tackle some of that, definitely, and then have the ultimate list. But I think the first thing I'm going to do is get these flowers into the pot. these ones for this vase are not they're not really the right flowers for the vase actually because I really need some taller ones some of those roses I had a few weeks ago would have been nice just before I I moved into the studio but you saw how skinny the selection at the flower store was at the supermarket so and I went to the posh supermarket to get flowers and they were even worse and they were really really overpriced so they were just rubbish and overpriced and at least these ones had one little selection of tulips left but um they'll still be nice to paint won't they and then of course the little the little one that broke gets special attention anyway so let's have some tea shall we cozy cup art together and i was thinking of um yeah not telling you this really but i like to be really honest in here so i will tell you but i am okay so don't worry so i'll say that before i, I tell you but the main reason why i'm having another day kind of off and resting is because i've been really really tearful so yesterday and today um yeah i've been really tearful so i'm giving myself some grace and i'm not making a plan of how long i'm gonna yeah be having this little break rest let's just crank this up a little bit shall we oh that's a bit better. So I was debating whether to mention this or not, but I do like to be honest in here. And, you know, sometimes I'm not OK and that's OK. It's completely normal and completely allowed. And I think, you know, when you're sort of putting yourself out there on the YouTube, it's it's all very nice, isn't it? Putting out a lot of positivity and don't get me wrong. I positivity. I want to be putting out, you know, some really positive vibes and uplift and inspire as much as I can and also make sure that none of us feel like we're alone in our human experience which can be a little bit wobbly and bumpy at times can't it and so for me the other reason why I'm taking maybe a day and maybe maybe a few more days is because I've been really tearful the last few days and so something's going on I don't really have reason to be tearful so I need to wait and allow myself a bit of space and time to find out what that is as it's processing through because there's something going on and I know it's been new moon and, and stuff so I'm giving myself some grace and allowing myself to decide each day how much I want to do basically and I think there'll be a little fairy coming called Grace very soon because she keeps whispering in my ear so watch out for her. I think she's going to be a nice one. And what else to tell you? I mean, I just think it's important to talk about this kind of stuff on the YouTube or wherever people are putting themselves out there, you know, sharing more of reality of life without it being, you know, doomy and gloomy. But at the same time, I personally don't want to be putting out this, you know, la la la, I'm so happy and dancing around the room all the time kind of Wendy. Because there's 5,002 different moods to Wendy and she's not always the dance around the room flowers in her hair kind of girl which is absolutely okay and completely allowed and I've been talking to my patrons a little bit about it about how you know it, it's like emotional waves often and sometimes the waves are really really big and you feel like you're going to get lost in that kind of washing machine rotation and never be able to get yourself out but it's quite interesting because if you allow the waves to flow and allow the feelings to be felt, then they do move through us. And obviously there's ways we can help ourselves do that, which I've talked about in other videos and journaling and dancing and moving our bodies and, you know, uplifting our spirits is always a good one. 
it's so important, isn't it, to allow them to flow through us, allow them to process, and then eventually we can let things go and we start feeling better. And I am feeling better than I was yesterday. So this is a loving way to treat yourself, isn't it? This is, this is Wendy being nice to Wendy. You know, and getting those errands done, the anti-procrastination target, getting those little things done, they, they suck the energy out of you, don't they? They really do. And I think as well as that, I have been giving myself a load of alone time. So for me, a really healing way to spend my time when I'm in this kind of frame of mind. <sighs> so I haven't come in here to work as much as I'd love to paint these lovely flowers. I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to have a speedy tidy up in here where I'm just going to do some things that make the most impact, if you like. So I'm not going to get into all the nitty gritty bits and bobs, but I am going to move some of the bigger stuff around so that when I come in, if I come in tomorrow, if I come in tomorrow, then it's going to be a really welcoming, tidier space than it is now, because there's a few things I could move around quite quickly, some of the plant babies and some of the bigger items. And I think it's just a case of, you know, clearing the floor really, and uh, some of the workspaces where I maybe want to put my laptop tomorrow when I come in, if, if I come in. And the other thing I want to do is to sort the happy mail out for this month's Patreon. So for the May Patreons and then sort out what the next rewards are for June, because James has made a list of what's for June and I think it's Earth Fairy. So I just want to get that photographed and grab the Guardian Angels postcards because that's what I'm sending out for the May Patreons. And even though I'm taking a rest this week, probably for the rest of this week as well, where I'm just gonna go a little bit with my own flow, I can still be productive, I can still cross some of the things off the list and get things done, but I'm doing it in a different way and there's a lot of grace and a lot of spaces in between the doing and also, you know, bringing the joy in as well with other things that I'm doing just purely for me, like, you know, these flowers here. You know, a rest is taking me in the right direction because I'm resting, so I'm recharging my batteries and restoring mind, body and spirit and taking care of my emotions at the moment as well, more than physical health. So the past few weeks, it's been interesting because it's been more about physical health. And now it feels there's something emotional going on. So again, that needs tending to and nurturing. And then it's also moving me in the right direction because I'm getting certain tasks done. And the anti-procrastination tasks have a double effect. Not only do they get done, but they also, once they're done, you have that lovely feeling, don't you, of relief basically thank goodness I've done that tick that off and it's a oh, fabulous feeling so yeah there's all those good things coming out of it it's making me feel good basically it's making me feel much much better where you know yesterday I was probably a four out of ten today I definitely feel a seven or an eight so it is working definitely if you need to take a little break in whatever way that means for you then here's a little reminder because yeah I needed to and I'm not very good at sort of giving myself permission to have time off work. Um, so this is really good. I'm doing very well. Well done, Wendy. Pat on the back. So I'm not going to vlog anymore me doing the paperwork because that's going to be really, really boring. And uh, you don't want to see me doing that. So I better leave you in peace for now and say goodbye. Thank you so much for watching. James keeps saying to me, did you ask people to subscribe? So if you do like the videos and you haven't subscribed yet, then yeah, please do. Because uh, it helps me out, basically. And I really appreciate it. So thank you very much. So try to keep your lights shining bright and your teacups full so that you can give from your saucer. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now. Let's leave the past behind. Walk. These flowers getting in the way. I just I wanted them in the shot because they're so pretty. But hopefully they're not in the way, but they're gorgeous.